Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Hi John. Hey. I'm Mr. DNA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had, I had to get the uh, Jurassic Park reference out of the way. Um, if you have a problem with it, send all hate mail. <laughs> As we crack jokes and stuff and have fun, uh, we're enjoying this. But we're yep. also enjoying the fruits of the Admiral's labor. Yeah, because they continue to be one of the top feeder organizations in the league. It, 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 they produce for Nashville. These guys sometimes don't stay. The right. Nashville, I mean, you can only fit 23 guys on a roster. Yeah, you can. And, I mean, we're going to go through every Admiral alum playing in the uh, 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs. Yep. So, for Admirals fans, you pretty much probably have a rooting interest in almost everything. Every team. Yeah. So, but there's one <laughs> that right here, that, that, that big one right here. This yeah. guy, he needs a cup. Bad. So, uh, for us, we're going to jump right in it. Yep. All right. So, we got, we're going to start with the Washington Capitals. Washington Capitals. He's a pretty familiar alum. We, we saw him last year. Yeah, Daniel Carr. Yeah, Daniel Carr. He's playing for the Washington Capitals. Uh, Predators buyout in uh, St. Louis. Uh, Steven Santini. Uh, he's with St. Louis. Uh, Pittsburgh's Freddie Gaudreau. Freddie G. Um, I won't cheer for Pittsburgh just because I don't like Crosby, but Freddie, if, if you do well, I hope you do. Right. But it's just my, me to you. Uh, the Islanders, they don't have an alum player, but... Former Admirals head coach Lane Lambert is an assistant there. Yeah. Uh, Montreal Canadiens, well, Shea Weber. Shea Weber is, well, an Admirals alum for many, was with here, yep. was here for about 30 years. Uh, then we got Kevin Fiala, Ryan Suter, and former Admirals head coach, now Minnesota Wild head coach, Dean Edmondson. So yep. those are your Minnesota Wild to watch. Florida Panthers, Patrick Hornquist. Colorado Avs, Samuel Girard. One game with the Admiral. That's all he played. Yeah. One game. Uh, for Boston, you got two. You got Craig Smith and Jared Tenardi, former, former captain. Yeah. And then Nashville. <laughs> well, let's just go here. Victor Arvidsson, Alexander Carrier, Jeremy Davies, Ryan Ellis, Matias Ekholm, Phil Forsberg, Rocco Gabaldi, Ben Harper, Tanner Janot, Roman Yossi, Michael McCarron, Matthew Olivier, Rem Pitlick, Pecorine, UC Saros, Colton Sissons, Eli Tolvanen, Yakov Trudin, and assistant coach Todd Bridges. Yep. All Too many for my hands. <laughs> I need some toes. <laughs> <laughs> but 16 admirals over the history in time of playing since being in the AHL have had their name etched on the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Along with three coaches. Dean Evanson was, uh, he, it, it will, has a chance. Lane Lambert got his name with Washington. Yep. Todd Richards last year with the Lightning. Yep. So, um, Believe it or not, I mean, if you want to, if you want to talk about it in total, twenty nine admirals alums. Yeah. Nineteen admirals, former admirals, are playing with the Predators alone. Yeah. That's their whole team. Yep. Plus a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> That's their whole team plus a scratch. And the taxi squad. No, the t 23 is a standard roster, taxi squad, and six. Right. So you got about 29. So we could add air, all the Admirals and Loves <laughs> and still put them all on one team and literally go play in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'd have a full coaching staff and still have a roster spot for three players. Yep. <laughs> So it, it, it's it's a lot of fun for Admirals fans it to is. know that we're we're still heavily known for our development, our programming, 
the way we teach here. Yeah. We get the we are not a small city, no. like many of the other teams outside of the Wolves and a couple others, like Ontario over there in Colorado's not too small either. No. They're in Colorado Springs. I lived in the springs. It's not that small, buddy. <laughs> um, and then you got um, you got San Diego. That ain't small. That's not small either, right? The um, goals out there. Uh, Toronto's not small. No. But I mean, if you look at it, there's no better place to hear you going when you sign with Nashville to hear, hey, you're going to Milwaukee. Right. Because you know that you're going to get a chance eventually to play in the NHL because Nashville will give you the chance. Right. They have given guys multiple chances like Carrier. Right. Carrier's got multiple chances by the Predators, and now he's making the most of it. Right. They, I like to do this a little bit with Carrier because the first year of me doing this, Carrier was my number one target. I, I, I expected so much out of him, and he, he didn't live up to it. He just tried too hard. And one time I walked up to him and said, dude, I'm crapping on you because, you know, and he goes, I know. And he goes, I, I said, look, I'm not doing it because I'm trying to be mean. I'm doing it because I'm giving constructive criticism. Right. I did the same thing my our last Admiral season with the Latolman. Right. So a, a constructive criticism gives a lot of help. Because sometimes if you can get the fans or the media to say what the coaches are saying, right, it does help. It, 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 it'll kind of sink in a little more. Yeah. Uh, when you start seeing videos of people barking and getting mad about the same thing your coach is mad about, it might be a problem. Yeah. So that's one of the things uh, we are really looking forward to next season for the Admirals. You can check out our YouTube page, and we have a link there straight to their season tickets. Yep. Um, so you can get in on the action and see some future NHLers. Um, they're, they're, uh, one out of th 25 is going to make that roster eventually. Right. You know, um, we've had the luxury of just naming those names. Some of them, like Pekka here. Right. Pekka is, is a legend here. He's a legend in Nashville. The reason Admirals fans say he's a legend, he is actually our all-time winningest AHL goal. Right, he is. And he became that close to a Calder Cup. Yeah. Thank you, Hershey. Mmm, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I thank you guys for watching. This video um, is is very special to uh, our organization, yeah. our, our fan base, and... And this organ, that organization. <laughs> yeah. But you know they, it, it it's a very figured thing. Harris has done a great job as an owner. Yep. Um, Harris Tur is one of the best owners in the AHL, in my oh, my yeah. opinion. Okay, so this is just both my, of our opinions. Because uh, with us opting out this year, he still kept his staff employed. He still kept yep. everybody going. He made sure the office ran on full function, even social distance, and having guys running alternate days. Right. He, they did a lot in the Admiral's office. Found to ways to still do things during the pandemic. Correct. And, and yes, us fans want something special, but, you know, for us, the special part is knowing that we're still here. Right, exactly. That we have hockey to go to this upcoming season. You know, that is our, that was our biggest worry going into last off season was are we going to have a season right uh, are is the nhl going to have a season you know our worry was are we even going to be able to watch these guys play right and now uh seeing all the uh, former admirals that have the, the young ones too like tanner Janot and olivier and especially Tolman. everybody who's coming and played great no matter the injuries illness that was on the Admirals last year. They have added, helped give the Predators a boost, and that's helped what them get to the playoffs. I mean, it's been amazing from being an Admirals fan to watch. It is great to see these guys clicking and doing what they have been working their whole lives to do. Yeah, I mean, when me and you were kids and we were playing, our whole goal was to get to the NHL. Yep. But one of our other goals was to down one of these. Yep. I mean, because in the end, we knew what the results were going to be if we did. Right. We would get a chance to play. 
the game we love at a level that we wanted to be at. Yep. And, you know, we're so happy to be part of, you know, we, and, and what was it, 94, the Admirals tried uh, under uh, former owner Jane Pettit, um, rest in peace, this, that lady yep. is the sweetest lady I have ever met in my life, yep. next to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, and, right. you know, um, I, I, as not family, she she brought every Admiral's fam member in and made it feel like family. Right. And Harris has continued that tradition. Definitely. And uh, when we go to games, people like me and John can we meet with people and and, and a former uh, podcast of a member of ours uh, would meet with people and right. and, w and people would talk to us about this. Uh, I will tell you right now, this is not easy on our families, it's not easy on our life schedules, and there are other things that sometimes we miss out on. Yeah. And it's tough, but we love what we do, and we love doing this for you guys, so enjoy. Um, we will be back tomorrow with, yep. or tonight, sorry, tonight, tonight. <laughs> with the uh, Everblades and Solar Bears Part 2, and then Sunday, I believe John will be doing the Everblades in Jacksonville. Yep. I will try to be there, but I have PR stuff for us to get done, as well as, you know, uh, upholding our sponsor of TNT Racing. Right. Because I have to do our part there as well. Um, so, uh, much love to TNT Racing. If you're a yep. fan of ours, please check out TNT Racing. They're good people over there. Um, uh, Marty and Brandon have been wonderful to us for putting yeah. us on the car. Thank you so much, Marty and Brandon. Thank you. And see you guys soon. I'll see Marty and Brandon. I'll see you Sunday.